such. Um, so uh, most of the students are post MBBS, I guess. So uh, um, so they know what gastroenterology specialty, what kind of uh, areas, what kind of organs we look at. So it's basically gastroenterology branch where it's it's a mixture of both the surgical and a medical branch. Previously, you know, I think I would say the medical gastroenterology has evolved from the surgical gastroenterology uh, over the last 40, 50 years, primarily because of the areas that we're able to explore with lots of newer techniques and newer kind of equipments that we have um, on hand um, that has actually explored the, the, the gastroenterology and the, and the hepatology. So, and as the name says, the gaster means stomach and the entero means intestine. So, and that's the reason why we call this a gastrointestinal system. Um, so how to pursue a career in gastroenterology and what are you going to do when, at, the, at the end of your career, at the end of your training and um, what are you going to uh, do as a practice, which we'll go through it in a, in a minute, but essentially we'll be looking at all these uh, gastrointestinal organs, uh, which are primarily the GI tract, then you have the associated organs like gallbladder, liver, pancreas, um, and so on. So you look at those um, kind of um, areas as well. So as I said, it is one of the very few um, non-surgical branches, which is procedure oriented. It, that's the reason why I call it as an amalgamation of both surgical and medical field. And these days with so many new equipments and newer techniques, um, previously they, um, they used to do surgeries. Now we're not doing surgeries, we're just doing it managing with endoscopy itself. Just to give you a small example, uh, appendicular operation, which is primarily a surgical procedure, uh, which we can now these days do it with endoscopy itself. So you make a hole through the stomach and you pass a camera through the stomach into the small intestine, um, in, uh, into the peritoneum rather. And then you find where the appendix is and then you chop off the appendix and then you come out through the uh, stomach and then you suture the stomach again. So that's called a notes procedure. So there are so many of these kind of procedures where previously it was only achieved through the surgical route. Now we're able to reach those areas with using an endoscopy and other various advanced techniques. And that is the reason why I say this is a very unique specialty where you have the amalgamation of both the medical side where you can actually use your brain and uh, you know make diagnosis. At the same time, you can also do a lot of interventions where you can make a difference to the, uh, to the patient's, uh, patient's care, okay? And it's exciting and, and certainly there's a lot of new things uh, to learn. And as I said, this is a very, uh, I would say a newer specialty which has been there for about 50, 60 years, and it's still evolving, and a lot more to a uh, lot more uh, to, to to learn in this specialty, a lot more newer advancements that are happening in this in this specialty. Okay, um, one thing which I was going to say is when I was looking for jobs, or when I'm looking for when I say jobs for my career in UK. So I went to UK in 2002. Um, so I did my senior house officer job over there. And then I was exploring which specialty or which career that I should take. So I started working in various specialties like in cardiology, elderly care, um, and also nephrology, hematology. Um, so I started liking every specialty where I went into. Uh, but I think cert once I you know, did in gastroenterology, I just loved that specialty and just fall in love with it. Because as I said, it's a mixture of both, you know, a, a mixture of both surgical and medical and lots of things which are involved in gastroenterology, which will not make you bored at all. For example, you have the, your inpatients, you have your procedures, then you have your outpatients. So it won't be just, a, you know, not, not like a radiology where you, it's a desk job where you sit in the front of the desk and you won't see the patients. It's not like a medical field, you only see uh, uh, patients and you don't have any procedures. And it's not like a surgery where you only be doing surgery, surgeries without seeing much of your patients. But this is a specialty, unique specialty where you have a mixture of all these three things in you know, outpatients, inpatients, and the surgery. And as I said, it's a very um, early or baby branch where there's lots of things to advance. And my boss will always used to say, if you're looking for a job or a career, gastroenterology and particularly hepatology, liver specialty is one thing which will definitely keep you in the job market for, for your career. Because I'll, I'll show some slides to you why hepatology is evolving and advancing and uh, why there will be lots of jobs in hepatology with a, with a handsome um, jobs with handsome salaries because um, um, it's evolving. The, liver, the hepatology is evolving. We're seeing a lot more liver transplants, a lot more uh, reasons, etiologies are there which will lead to uh, liver-related diseases, okay? Another important aspect of, that I love about is, you know, it's a specialty where you, you have emergencies. For example, you have a GI bleed, a varicel bleed, or a, um, a bleeder from uh, peptic ulcer bleeds or a lower GI bleeds. 
these are emergencies. You know, you have to go in and tackle, and you you get so much of satisfaction when the patient gets better, when the family tells you that thank you, doctor, for saving. Um, uh, it's it's like any other, like for example, MI when you actually you know thrombolize or even put a, a stent PTC stent. You know, you get that kind of a happiness. You get in the, even the specialty where you can actually deal with emergencies. At the same time, you know, you will have your life. You know, not that you know, uh, even if you're a guy who is who doesn't want it in emergencies, you can still manage these emergencies in a way that it doesn't affect your quality of life, okay? So for example, if you had a bleeder in the night, you know, it will take some, some time for them to optimize. So you optimize them and then you do it in the morning. Or if, if the patient comes early in the evening, you can optimize the patient and then you can uh, go home. So in other words, these are emergencies which can be tailored to an extent where it depends on your circumstances as well. So you've got a, a, a branch where you can, uh, do lots of procedures. There are lots of advancements happening. There's you can have a mixture of outpatient and inpatient. At the same time, you have emergencies where you can tailor it according to you, your um, uh, your need, your uh, situation. To be honest, and so that's the reason why it's a uh, an exciting branch.